Hey, Rebel Shanghai 6, front towards Gamer. Here we are over at Dark Spore from Maxis of all people. It's not a Sims game, I know, right? So here we are with a, one of the developers of the game. And uh, who am I talking with? I'm Lauren McHugh, and I'm a gameplay engineer on the project. Very nice. So let's, all right, Dark Spore. First off, what, why isn't this, uh, I need a Sims game, it's Maxis. What, what are you doing? It's true. It's a very different game than Spore was. Uh, the piece that we did take from Spore was the creature editor technology. So you'll be able to collect genetic heroes and edit them with the Spore creature editor. Other than that, though, it's a sci-fi action RPG with really hack and slash fun gameplay and four-player co-op. So no, no green diamonds over my head or anything. Nothing. It's just action or action RPG. Okay, talk to me about that. What, what, what is that? So you're gonna collect heroes and you're gonna form squads of three creatures, which you're gonna take down on the planet. Each one of them has unique abilities and a unique backstory, and you're gonna be able to switch between them and just go make your way through and kill all the enemies on the planet. Okay, what's the storyline? Why are we going on these planets? What are we trying to do? Sure. The creatures have been infected with Dark Spore, and they're infected with this eDNA virus. So you're going to want to use uh, the stabilized version of this virus to genetically improve your creatures in order to exterminate all of the infected creatures on the planet. And you just go from planet to planet doing this? One man gen or one man, three, th three creature genocidal team just going from planet to planet cleaning? You and all your friends. All right, very interesting. So when I was playing through the demo, the first thing I thought was Diablo. Uh, it's got all the it's got all the loot whoring mechanics, which is everybody loves. Um, you know, leveling system. But your big thing, instead of just having the leveling system, is having a squad of three creatures that you could change out. And I actually said something like Pokemon. So talk to me about that. Yep, that's actually pretty like a pretty good way to describe it. So you're gonna collect dozens of genetic heroes, and you're gonna be able to form squads that work well together. So you're gonna want to find guys with abilities that combo well. You could be a person who focuses on one kind of guys, like you really like to play tanks, or maybe you want to have a more well balanced team. Kind of depends what you're gonna play, and if you're gonna play with your friends, what they're gonna, the decks they're gonna bring. And you said play with your friends. This is a co-op game. Yes, definitely. It's best when played with co-op, and it sports up to four-player co-op, and we'll also have PvP as well. We'll also have what now? PvP. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, let's see, what else we got? So, all right, loot. We've got three monsters. Or we call them what? genetic heroes? Yes. Interesting. I also saw Crogenitor. Yes. That, that's sort of the fiction term for them. Uh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, how, how long is this, like... This just started coming out now. How long have you guys been working on this? Uh, we've been working on it since Spore shipped, but at that time we had a we had a very small team. We probably had like a handful of people for probably a year or so after that. So we had a nice gestation period, a lot of pre-production work, a lot of prototyping, and the team was really passionate about it. So we were just like playing with each other. It's been super fun development-wise. We were just like playing, trying to figure out what's fun, and improving the game over time. Now you, now you said the Spore team. Were you on the Spore development team as well? I was. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, oh, you, oh, you were talking earlier to me about the creature creator, and how, like, because I, I played Spore originally, and that was a big, that came out as a, a demo prior to Spore coming out. How is that going to play a role this time around? So the creatures that you collect, you're going to be able to edit them using the Spore Creature Editor. So you'll be able to collect on the planet's new hands, feet, wings. You'll be able to collect armor that you'll be able to place anywhere on the body. So you have a lot of customization options. We also allow you to, if you like the look of a part, but you don't want the, to use it as a stat part anymore, you can strip the stats off of it and just put it on as an aesthetic piece. We really want to give you creative freedom. So if you put a horn on, you can take the, the stats off of it, it's just a cosmetic thing. Exactly. Interesting. Now you now you had also said something to the effect of you're going to reach out to the community to create some of these creatures for your game? That's exactly right. The sport community is actually designing the NPCs for the game, so what they look like. So uh, the people that win these contests where they're designing the creatures will be featured in the game. Their NPCs will be uh, killed by millions of players, hopefully. <laughs> and congratulations, you win. We're going to kill your creation. Yep. Although I guess you're used to that, though. Yes. All right, well, I certainly appreciate it. When does this ship? It ships in February 2011. Oh, wow, that's uh, fairly soon. Yep, it's coming right up. All right, well, I certainly appreciate your time, Lauren. Thank you very much. Yep. Nice to meet you. All right, you too. Shanghai 6 out.